Originally, the idea behind it was there was a demand from customers in terms of some flexibility around the audits module. The old audits module within Red Eye Healthcare basically allowed you to complete an audit, was limited somewhat in terms of some of the kind of question types you could ask. So you were limited to certain response types, for example, which was yes, no, not applicable. So there was an element of customers demanding from us an extra level of flexibility there. So what we built is the ability for them to be able to configure their own questions using the um, editor we've constructed. And then I guess that editor as well being kind of a big part of that process. Historically, customers had to build the audits using Excel, import them into Red Out, which was not ideal. So those were the kind of the two main key drivers. The other one is just in terms of where that product was in terms of the competition out there in terms of the rest of the market. So we recognized that we needed to improve the product to a point at which, because obviously we offer audits, we offer events, we offer documents. Within that product set, each of those different component modules within Radar has got to be at least equivalent with what's, what's the best in the market there. So there was a recognition from us that actually we needed to improve, improve the offer there. Everything we do, this is an acronym because obviously, you know, everyone loves an acronym. UCD, User Centered Design, and it's about making sure that you involve the user throughout the entire journey of that design process. So for us, kind of collectively as a product team, right at the very super early stages, we hold, you know, workshops with customers where kind of myself and Ellie and, uh, and Alex look to kind of gather ideas from customers in terms of their wish lists, for want of a better way of describing it. We then refine that list, you know, basically kind of what are the key things that are really going to make a significant difference to you and your organisation. And, and then you start prototyping and it can literally be as simple as a piece of paper where you've drawn something to someone kind of going, look, is that kind of what you had in your head? And then you move through iterations of, you know, starting with that concept, if you like, on paper, through to things like wireframing. So almost you're giving somebody a, a pseudo mock design that they can interact with and play around with in some way, shape or form. And then it's a case of just kind of working through that journey with them and getting to the point at which by the time you hit development, the thing you're building, you kind of know people are going to be using it in the way you've envisaged. You should have hopefully ironed out any of those kind of key usability issues. So kind of user, user access, ease of use, UI, UX, all that kind of good stuff. Most of, you're never perfect, but most of those questions have been answered. So that when the developers start to develop it, you're not having to go through the cycles and the costly cycles of having developers to be redeveloping things because you've not necessarily designed it first in the, uh, correctly in the first place. We do quite a lot of usability testing with customers where we might set them a challenge. You might just kind of go back, okay, I want you to complete an audit. And then we give them no help whatsoever. We just sit back and watch them and we see where they struggle and see where they might get confused about what buttons to push and all that kind of good stuff. And then that, you'd play it back to the developers and go, well, look, here's where we played this to somebody and they got a bit stuck here. And then everyone was like, all oh, right, we'll improve this. And, do, and then you go through another iteration mm -hmm. again. So yeah, it, it basically, simplify what I just talked about for five minutes, customers at the heart of that design. So we carry on working with our customers, our partners throughout the process. So once a product is launched, so once the audit module is launched, we carry on having those user groups, so we still have the conversations, we are in regular communication with customers throughout, both, both directly as a product team, but with their customer success managers, with their project managers and with the support team. So we've got loads of teams behind the scenes all feeding in. We can take the feedback from any issues they're having or any comments, any feedback from the product and carry on with the iterations for the development there. We have our community where we capture development suggestions, and feedback that way. So we're monitoring the community suggestions that come through. People can upvote them, can comment on them and see how it's gonna improve how they're performing their audits and how their organization works. And we take all that into account when we're developing as well. My favorite part of the audits platform is the builder. Uh, sorry to steal that from you if you were gonna say that as well. Tell it. <laughs> But the, the builder is so simple and so straightforward, it almost needs no training. So as Mark's already said, in the previous version of audits, you would fill in a spreadsheet. First of all, we had to train people on how to fill in the spreadsheet. So it had to be done in a certain way for the upload to work, and then you could get errors. And it, the whole thing was quite complicated. And you could edit your questions in Radar Healthcare itself. But again, it was quite long-winded and took a lot of training to tell people where to go to do it. In the new audit module, you can kind of 
point people in the right direction, give them a little bit of guidance, say this is the sort of thing you know you want to be able to do, and then people can just go for it and use it. It's very similar to our form editor that we use for event forms, so people can, if they can use form editor, they can use audit builder and vice versa, so we're tying it all in together. But it's really straightforward, you can score your own, th you can kind of like do your own um, answer types multiple different answer types, free text. You can make comments mandatory if someone fails a question. You can say, well, you've got to give me a comment for that or you've got to upload a photo, something like that. So yeah, that's definitely my favorite part. The actual interface for the people completing the audit. So if you think of what we're trying to do here, one of the things is to make it as simple as possible for somebody to be able to complete an audit. Because ultimately what we're after is capturing the data that's you know one going to tell you where you are in terms of that actual audit. But ultimately we're trying to change you know, we're trying to underpin quality and safety. So the data coming from those audits is key. So to making that as simple as possible for people to be able to complete it means you're more likely to get the data that isn't going to help you drive those outcomes. So that bit about usability, even when we've been walking around, you know, not just North Bristol, but other customers have been using it, is the feedback is this is super simple to use and I can use it with no training, which is great. You know, you just put the audit tool in somebody's hand and they know how to use it straight away. So that for me is the, the, the key one. And if we're allowed to pick a second, um, <laughs> or a third, um, all the way it all pulls through into the analytics as well. So the an analytics engine, obviously, it, it links through all the different modules in, in Radar Healthcare. But again, it pulling through and being able to kind of pull all that story together for the, the organisation. So they've completed the audits, they've had the people on the ground pulling them in, really straightforward, but it's also really straightforward to then actually get tie the pieces together and get the areas that they need to improve on or where the strengths are or actually we have no idea we've got a big gap here. Yeah. So yeah, that's another. So basically area. we're saying we like all of it. Yeah, it's all really good. <laughs>